Welcome back to Black News Tonight. It's time to take a look at what's happening in the digital streets. And today, there's only one real story. Rap legend Trick Daddy is under fire by the Beehive after an audio clip of Trick calling out Beyonce on a recent Clubhouse panel was leaked across social media. On the clip, Trick Daddy says, in part, Beyonce don't write music and barely can sing her mother effing self. He also claims, quote, Beyonce is to R&B what Jay-Z is to New York. That's why they together. Well, Beyonce's fiercely loyal beehive has since set their sights on the Florida rapper. They flooded his social media page with, let's just say, spirited responses, as well as bee emojis and much, much more. Now, let me say first that as a journalist, it is my job to report this news I find entertainment news interesting. I wanted to give Trick Daddy a, uh, an opportunity to express his opinion on this. But let me be very clear. I'm talking to y'all, Beehive. I don't agree with Trick Daddy. In fact, I disagree with Trick Daddy. I'm with Beyonce. I'm riding with y'all. So I don't want none of that smoke. Earlier today, though, I did get a chance to speak to Trick about all of the backlash. Here's what he said. Trick Daddy, thank you so much for joining us on Black News tonight. Thank you for having me, man. Tell me what happened. I woke up this morning. I saw your name trending. First, I wanted to make sure you were still alive. Then I heard that you was talking about Beyonce. What happened? Uh, well, we, we was on Clubhouse. And, and, and in Clubhouse, I don't know if you're familiar with Clubhouse, but on Clubhouse, like my, my rooms, I have we have four rooms where it's, it's predominantly uh, Jacksonville and Miami. People in Lower Fall out there in Palm Beach, Orlando, surrounded like a Florida room, and we were discussing the other day about we have we have a segment on there called unpopular opinion. So what you what, what you're <laughs> supposed to do? You're supposed to give an opinion, something that you really truly believe, and it's supposed to get people in the uproar. Somebody was down in the dirt when the dirt is that we don't pull you up you just down there you can't talk you can't participate you just listen somebody was being uh disrespectful of one of the girls and they, they guess they put him in the dirt so he can't talk now he recorded a part of what i was saying and posted it i guess yesterday or last night because the comment i i, I what i said i can't and, you know, everybody wanted me to, you know, get mad. And, uh, that, that was dead wrong. That was invasion of privacy. And I was like, no, 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 no. There was nothing dead wrong about it. It wasn't invasion of privacy because my thing is I'm a strong believer. Do not say nothing. Do not do nothing that you're ashamed of. Don't say nothing that you have to apologize and, rec and recant. And that's how I live my life. So I gave an unpopular opinion so and, and somebody took it the wrong way. So you gave an unpopular opinion. Do you stand by that opinion? And to be clear, the opinion was that Beyonce can't sing uh, and that she doesn't write her own songs. And of course, there's the Jay-Z piece of it, right? That he's not like the real king of New York, that he didn't earn well, that crown. Uh, well, let's, the, let's, the, let's, the part about ahead. write her songs is obviously that 95% of all vocalists don't write their own music. So that's not a big issue. And I said that Jay-Z was to New York and the hip hop scene in New York the same thing as Beyonce is to the R and B scene, which I was saying and I said that Beyonce can't sing. I said she can't sing to be exact. To me, a singer is a Stephanie Mills. A singer is a Whitney Houston, a Mariah Carey, a Alicia Keys, and a Dell. To me, a singer is a Somebody that could go to church and have you and give you the word, and you know, somebody that could. I'm for the South, so singing and singing is a different thing. Is she a businesswoman? No, I, yeah, I, yeah. I, 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 have I, I hear seen that trick. Anybody well, so, perform better than her? No, but I don't think she's so, a so, singer. So, so singing and singing is two different. So singing and singing is two different singing levels. I grant you that. Is a, but she's a singer, but I don't think she can sing, and that's my unpopular opinion. The thing is, now, that's your part the people that's up in the uproar, they don't, they, they, they probably didn't even hear what I said. They don't understand what I'm saying because they're trolls. 
they, they don't have nothing to do. That's why it's hard for me to find somebody to work this food truck at this restaurant because nobody don't want to work no more. Everybody done got comfortable with using the coronavirus as an excuse for them not to work so they can get that unemployment and, and, and do the PPP club. Nobody don't <laughs> want to work, so they don't got nothing else to do on their hand but to sit and try to troll me. But trolling only works when it affects them. I'm not affected by it. I don't care who don't agree with me. If I offended somebody, do I care? Yeah, probably. But I didn't. I don't think that I said nothing to offend anybody. I, yeah, no, <laughs> and, and that, that's an important point you make, Trick. Hold on, Trick, one second, because you make an important point, right? Which is, and let me be clear, I don't agree with you. Uh, I actually think Beyonce can sing and sing, and I think when she's given the opportunity to to flex her vocal muscles, she does that. And, and I think she actually writes a lot more songs than she gets credit for. And even songwriters and producers like Cool and Dre have said, like, look, she actually changes the bridge of this song. She actually changes the lyrics of the song. She, she steps songs up. Like I said, I have an opinion. If you don't have an opinion, if you don't stand for something, you fall for anything. And a friend of, a friend of everyone is a friend of none. And I don't give a damn who, who, who's not my friend. I'm speaking my mind. If a lot of people start speaking their mind and telling the truth and being able to to express themselves, this world, this country that we live in, this cold, cold place we live in, to be a better place to sleep at night. So you, st so you, 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 like I said, what I said, you stand in your ground. Yeah, I believe a lot of people can't see. They got mad at me this morning because I put Chris Brown on the level as Michael Jackson. Nobody has done the things that Chris Brown did with a lot of hit records and big records like he, like he's done. Over the years, Chris Brown and Michael Jackson, Trey. Chris Brown and Michael I, Jackson, I, bro. I'm not comparing the artwork. I've never been to a Michael Jackson concert, but I've been to a Chris Brown concert. Apparently Chris not. Brown did his thing for four hours. I never been to a Michael Jackson concert, but I know hit records. And since I've been in the music game, I don't believe there's nobody that sold more records and did as much as Chris Brown and Rihanna. <laughs> You, you know, I mean, check out the numbers for Thriller, though, good brother. Thr Thriller beats all everything Chris Brown ever did. But, but I, I feel again, you, you, you have a right to your unpopular opinion. What, my, my last question for you. What, well, I, I got two questions for you. First of all, just so I can calibrate this, you said Stephanie Mills and and Whitney Houston. If they're a ten, or, or but yeah, if they are a hundred, if Stephanie Mills and Whitney Houston are a one hundred on the scale, what's Beyonce? <sighs> So I'm going to add in the fact, I'm going to add in the fact that Beyonce is a hell of a performer. I've seen Stephanie Mills now, I'm talking about as a singer. As a singer. As a singer. As a Just as a singer. singer, though. If Stephanie Mills and Whitney Houston is a hundred, Beyonce is an 85. Whoa, bro. Whoever that's, that's your supplier good. is... Okay, whoever your supplier is, please give me the connect, bro, because you're smoking that good shit, man. <laughs> if you think Beyonce is only hey, at 85, hey, oh my so, God. Okay, so let me ask you a question. Tell me a Beyonce song that have put you in a moment that made you as a man close your eyes and want to cry or want to be with that girl. And that's why I judge my things about. That's why I judge. That's how I judge music. I think music is supposed to take you somewhere. Music is supposed to remind you of something. It's supposed to deliver you. It's supposed to take you somewhere. It's supposed to get you through it. And that's the kind of things that Whitney Houston and Stephanie Hill, and Stephanie Mills' music did for me, along okay. with Shirley Murdoch, Fair along enough. with uh, the great late Miss Betty Ooh, Wright. As we Those lay. people, they, they 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 put me somewhere. They they got me through it. And maybe maybe it's the choice okay, of songs enough. that Beyonce did. Maybe I don't know, but that's my opinion. Okay, last question for you. What do you got to say to the Beehive? Because I see the Beehive out there. I see your Instagram is in shambles. Every post you have made is filled with with pictures of bees and comments of people talking about you. What is what uh, is your beehive, message finally to the beehive? beehive? I wish y'all would support me as much. I sold I sold a lot of records. Never got nominated for no awards. I ain't crying about it. But um, as far as the Beehive. Good support, man. Good, 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 good. good Y'all doing? But I grew up with roaches. I'm more, I'm, I'm more afraid of roaches than bees. Mmm. You ain't, you want all the smoke. I, I respect it. I don't agree with you, bro. But I respect the fact that you, you, you standing on your hill and you gonna die on that you know hill. Trick daddy, everybody. Thank you. Talented, very successful person. 
but I don't put her at my top singles, no. All right, good brother. Uh, everybody, Trick Daddy, thank you for joining me on Black News tonight. Hey, thank you for having me. Woo! He's still talking heavy. He's still dying on that hill. We're going to see what happened. Everybody, let us know what you're thinking. Hit us up on Instagram.